This is the same street we were in yesterday. Now you see, it's a, again becoming more crowded and uh, all the businessmen are coming out. Small scale sellers. Cloth shoes, everyday products. Yeah, this guy was here yesterday. Uh, we are going to uh, Metro now. We're going to get a uh, Metro and then we'll go to uh, a garden. Uh, one of the famous uh, gardens here is uh, Lodi Garden. Uh, I remember the name Lodi always because uh, when I was in Rome, uh, one of the first metro name is uh, Rome. Uh, and in the Rome, there is a one station called uh, Lodi. We have a, here we have a, a Lodi Garden. At least uh, some connection with the name. Okay, we go to that garden now, and then we decide where we go. Like next, this whole day I'm busy on going on. I'm looking at places. Well, I'm wearing this today's shirt. It looks quite pretty good for me. Yes or no? Yes. You like my shirt? Yeah. Good. Ab kitna saal hai? I'm coming here. Yeah. Delhi se ab. हमारे यहाँ कोई एक चैनल है इसमें वीडियो बनाते हैं रेट्रो ट्रैवल है इसका नाम क्या नाम है रेट्रो ट्रैवल रेट्रो रेट्रो में वीडियो बना रहे हैं यूट्यूब पे यूट्यूबर हो यूट्यूबर है स्मॉल टाइम यूट्यूबर देखने के लिए घूमने के लिए आया ये वाला गाड़ी एक स्कूटर है ना बैटरी नो पेट्रोल so this is a battery vehicle that means it saves a lot of from us from no pollution that's great yeah there seems to be a lot of fruits in this area look at that I even juices fruit juices juice I can see the metro going there already One thing about me that I had a good sleep. I was sleeping very well yesterday as well. And uh, one more thing, there are a lot of selective food here. North Indian food, Delhi food. Hey, this is metro. Okay. Thank you, boss. I'll pay you now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, we are out the metro. Oh, guys, just outside this uh, Akshardham metro, I can see uh, it looks like it's an ashram. It's a philanthropic activities here. Ramakrishna Mission, New Delhi, spiritual, cultural, philanthropic activities for the freedom, the self, and the good of the world. Aim, practice, and pre preaching of uh, eternal religion. Embodied in the life center te teachings of uh, Sri Ramakrishna and uh, Sara Devi Swami Vivekananda. Oh, yeah, motto. Okay. So this is about the uh, Swami's temple, uh, ashrama. I think I can go and look, I think, here. Maybe I just take it. Oh, guys, this is an ashrama. You know about Sri Vivekananda, no? This is an audit. Oh, yeah, here is uh, photography pro prohibited. Ah, well, there is a bookstore, you know, uh, there is the Vivekananda Auditorium, the, there are a lot of cultural programs. Look at the architecture of this ashrama. This is a nice ashrama, beautiful. And there are also many uh, buildings around this. These are all part of the ashramas. So I believe probably a lot of tourists coming and using this place for meditation and peace. Okay, well, that's for a short looking into the ashrama. I know what I know. Well, that's okay. We will go. There you can see Vivekananda. That is Vivekananda. Okay. Nice, beautiful tree. Exiting to metro. Just as usual, metro is quite uh, bigger, nice, lot of people. We need to get into our destination. There are a lot of places to see today. We need to go four stops from here. After four stops, we'll get down. Jorbarg. From there, I think we need to walk a little bit to get to the uh, Lodi Garden. Okay, guys. We're up there. Jorbag or something. This is the station. 
Well, Indian metros are quite huge. What I've seen from the other European metros, these are like little bigger, long, lengthy, bigger. Nice, nice one. <laughs> his shirt is nice, no? It's colored, his shirt. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Beautiful. How he has like a nice color shirt. How he's paddling, like, ah, okay. Nice paddling through one of the part of uh, Delhi. Oh, mine is six, not X7. Yo. Hey, Sabji. Hey, road ke naam kya hai? Lodi road. Hey? Ye wala. Ha. Jor bag Ha, okay. Well, I believe anyway, it's uh, one of the best uh, residential parts of uh, uh, New Delhi. It is looking like uh, both the sides there. Uh, uh, having many apartments and houses uh, some this is the best time to choose this uh, rickshaw wala because uh, the weather is uh, quite nice the light is very good and uh, I'm getting a lot of good breeze <laughs> I don't sweat now and it's good to shoot videos here yes for sure it looks like a very posh area for me just now what I see from the other places I've been it's not uh, a local a crowded area it's for like a residential areas but through this for flourishing its beauty <laughs> Delhi is Delhi always one of that's the Lodi green card entrance so go yeah okay so this is basically a garden and uh, I can see already something a big structure over there so we are quite here in a biggest park there are almost three or four uh, famous persons temp uh, tombs so we need to see the tombs now and uh, you can admire the architectural difference in beauties here look at that guys that's what we are seeing I think this is the Shish or something uh, tomb of it. Anyway. Oh wow. This one is quite big. Uh, this could be the Mughal or the type of Muslim architecture during the time. Well, looks very beautiful. Not only that, the garden is perfectly maintained it looks very nice and also there is a birds of the Lodi garden oh that's a zoo here ah, we have been to a zoo in last few episodes before I think second episodes before we did a zoo visit in Mysuru oh, well if we have time we'll come back and see that too now we go and just to get close to the tomb and see what tomb it is whose tomb it is what is the history of that if anything is written Look, we're playing or something, practicing shuttle. <laughs> nice place, nice garden. It's open for everyone. Yeah, here we have the biggest. I would say it's a Maharaja's tomb or something in that time. Uh, yeah, there would be written all the histories of it on the right side, I guess. It looks a very, very big Indian Mughal or whatever. In that time designs made so big these are all big yeah big like a five-story building that's it let me go close to the information uh, protected monument this monument has been declared to be national importance under the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and it remains the act of 1958 uh, whoever destroys the most injuries after it's a further the some rule or the so basically guys the name of this huge monument is called Bada Gumbad. In my language, it's Bada Gumbad only. And uh, um, this is a monument uh, of, or the memory of the Sultan uh, or the king of uh, the Delhi that time in, in 1400 uh, and uh, for, uh, for 1500 that time. The uh, name of him is the Sikandar Lodi. And, uh, uh, his uh, tomb also is nearby here. Anyway, we will go inside and see some of it. 
Look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. It's like a square, a big square here inside. And uh, it has its uh, central dome. Like in that, the usual times of uh, 1400s or before, it used to be seen like that. It is not only the Buddha Gambad here, there's also a masjid. You can see it from here. I think I probably believe this is a masjid. Hello, friend. Is it a masjid? Yeah, that one is a masjid. That is a masjid, no? Belongs to, with this. This is the masjid. This is the masjid. This is a masjid. Yeah, this is my mom's house. guest house. This is a masjid. And uh, this is a guest house. Okay, that. You can have the information right there. Ah, yeah, it's written here. And what is that? Sheesh. Sheesh. Sheesh Gumbar. Uh, that is also another king's uh, monument, Tomb, no? Yeah, that is also a tomb, and this one is a masjid. Shisha is also a king. No, no, no. No. It's called Shishman. It's called glasses. Uh, ah, okay. Shish means gla Shishman. glasses. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Okay, thank you. I'll go to the masjid and see something from there. Sure. Yeah, masjid has nice design and it's written something in Arabic language for sure. Oh yeah, that's nice, quite nice. Oh, is it a tomb of uh, the Sikandar Lodi? No, it's, it's a grave, and it's not a, it's not a tomb. Okay. So that is Shisha. We need to know what is Shisha. We'll go there and read that as well. Okay, quite nice. What is it? Re yeah, it's written quite well here. During the Lodi period, Lodi is a Sikandar Lodi. Yes, well, the uh, the Sultan or the king at that time, 1451 to 1526. He had like a uh, 75 years or more of time. Tombs were raised in two styles, square and uh, octagonal. The Baragambad and the Shish Gumbad, which is near on the other side. To its north are examples of the square type, while two other tombs in the Lodi Gardens represent the octagonal type. Adjoining the Baragambad is a mosque which has led some scholars to summarize that this structure was raised as the gateway of the mosque. The Baragambad, however, is nothing but a tomb with a certain unique features. The mosque was no doubt erected as an adjacent to the tomb, and finally in front of the mosque was raised a minham and khana, or the guest house for pilgrims. Oh yeah, that's it. This is the guest house, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tutti due insieme, quasi similari, tenano italiano e anche spagnolo. Puedo entender italiano, pero yo hablo español. Ah, 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 poco, poco, poquito, poquito, poquito. Ah, ah. Casi, mucho. ¿Cuántos años has estudiado? Casi. Dos años. Ah, dos años, dos años. Español. Ah, ah. Y también yo aprendí italiano también. Ah, 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 ah. ¿Qué labor fa? Labor acá. Yo. Ah, ah. Yo soy un maestro. A un maestro de lengua, lengua española. Why in America? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. What's your name, please? John. John. He is speak. Uh, like John. Like John. Eh, lui parla italiano anche poco spagnolo. No, lui parla bo. Lui parla poco italiano e parla più spagnolo. Lui è studente spagnolo, è magistrale. Eh, lui è. Dove abiti? In Italia? No, in 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 India, no? Delhi. Ah, tu sei indiano? Ah, va bene, benissimo. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Our friend was speaking Italian, uh, a little bit of Italian and uh, Spanish. So I met a guy who was a student in India, studying all that languages is a good thing. But I had uh, a more advantage. I went to Italy not to study language, but I learned language between. You see, this is a message. Oh, yeah. Quite nice, eh? But pretty sure Indian type of uh, masjid like that. So I believe that he has a little, some, a little bit of that thing. Learning languages and being like a king. <laughs> nice guy though. Indian man. Uh, there existed two patterns in the tomb built during the rule of the Lodi Sultans. Square and octagonal. This tomb and the Baragumba to its south are the square on plan. With its facade uh, divido horizontally by string cords and with a series of sunk Nisha is running above and below it. It has an external semblance of being double storied. It western wall is provided with a mahad 
which served as a mosque, while the other sides have a central entrance set projecting from the niches are spanned by the arches. The central opening by the bracket and the lintel blinds, combining the features of the both Hindu and Islamic architecture, we need to see that what is the difference in here. I see that everything is the same, made by the stones a bit. It was originally faced with a frieze of phrases of blue, blue enameled tiles, enameled tiles which survive now only in the traces and which uh, gave it its name, meaning a dome of glass. Oh, that means there is a glasses in it. Oh, this could be the glasses, right? Yeah, enameled glasses. Yeah, yeah. I have seen it when I went to uh, Himalayas. I think I found some of the shiny stones over there as well. This means it's the same kind of the things. Uh, the goddess or god's um, statue they would put. That is what I believe so. And uh, over there also in the small go uh, small blocks over there in the enameled stones they would put some of the god's pictures. Uh, when it comes to Muslim they would have this uh, side arches like that uh, and the domes in the central and also in probably written in Arabic language something. We'll go inside and see how... So guys, I'm just going inside here. You see, these are the tombs and there's no names written in it, so it could be unknown. And someone is most important uh, in those time. Well, that's great. I think I can go here. Oh, wow, great. Haji. <laughs> एक वीडियो बनाएं आपको ए आपका स्टेप आप बहुत अच्छा है ना अच्छा है अच्छा है क्या कर रहा है आज चलो चलो ये पेप्सी बात ना यू सी इट्स मोर ऑफ अ गार्डेंस हियर लाइक जस्ट द गार्डेन आउटसाइड अ लॉट ऑफ गार्डेंस नाउ आई थिंक आई ड्राइव्स अ वाटर फाउंटेन और समथिंग We'll go and see that too. Sabji, eh, eh, kaha hai jala chya? Jala. Is samne ya? Okay. Okay, we go to the water fountain or something here. Yeah, this is the water fountain beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be like that zigzags here. Oh, that's a long one. That's going many, many meters. I'll go a bit more further. Oh, yeah. That's what it is, guys. A lot. A lot bigger one. Fountain is very nice. I told you it's like an Amazon zigzag. Quite nice. It's all clean. They were cleaning everything. So, I'm pretty sure that that is very clean. What is inside here? Many, many small animals. Oh, it's some kind of uh, ducks, I think. <laughs> a lot of ducks, I think. Bigger type. Mm -hmm. It's not really ducks here. I told you there is a, a small zoo inside. Okay, well, that's enough. I mean, that covers our time here up. I think we need to change the place now. We're short of time, not spending more than two hours or one hour or and a half uh, in a place. Uh, we have seen the most uh, important uh, two structures here. First of all, the Dugabad uh, tombs. And that's the most important thing here in this park. And park is most beautiful. It's a very great park. A lot of tourists coming, a lot of domestic tourists coming, a lot of Delhi pe uh, people from Delhi spend their time here beautiful place to meet people as well okay we will try to do the next thing